snow is truly, I think the most magical thing I have ever seen in my life. <sighs> I've never seen so much snow here. It's just amazing. <gasps> I am having so much fun just looking at all of the snow, like literally swimming through the snow. Oh my God, my hair is like cake. I actually came down here because I woke up this morning and I thought, oh my gosh, it would be so cool to go swimming in the river, in the snow. Got my clothes on, I trudged down. <gasps> I don't know why I have these ideas <laughs> when I got down there. Like you can see, the river is covered with this like very thin ice that I can't walk on or else it'll break. And I don't even really know where the river starts. I started walking out there to see and my feet broke through and they got all wet, so. <laughs> I've decided today is not the day for a river swim. <laughs> First thing I need to do today is move all the snow <laughs> so I can get in and out of the house. I need to start a fire, so I gotta shovel out my wood. <laughs> literally buried in so much snow. After that massive snowstorm, um, the sun came out the next day and started melting the snow, but with the rise of temperature and super high winds, I was incredibly nervous of an avalanche coming down the mountain and crushing the house. A tree must have fallen during the storm because the power went out for a couple of days, and during that time I had actually gotten quite sick. Getting a fever also made it very difficult to have the energy to keep the house warm. Um, just simply maintaining daily chores was just painful and exhausting. Since our well is powered by electricity, there was no water, so I was melting snow on the wood stove to drink. Fire is going and my water is finally ready. <laughs> my snow water. <laughs> mm. I'm really sick right now. Yeah, the past couple days I've just kind of been focusing on keeping the house warm and just kind of getting through the day. And with all these things happening, I desperately wanted to leave. I felt alone and super scared, but they had closed all major highways in the area because of the extreme avalanche warning. And I also wasn't even sure if I physically had the strength to hike out with so much snow on the ground. It's pretty early, it's around 5 a.m. But today is a very, very special day because I've been sick the last couple days and today I woke up and I'm starting to finally feel a bit better. I think I'm gonna get up and do some yoga. There's still no power here. <sighs> what else is new? <laughs> I ran out of kindling yesterday, so I'm digging out my chopping block. It's like buried under all the snow. <laughs> I need to chop some kindling so I can start a fire. It's really funny. This is really silly. <laughs> I really like to start a fire and then let it get hot in here while I do yoga. So when I come back, it's like all warm and toasty in here and I don't have to do anything. It's like the best feeling ever. Something so exciting just happened. The power came back on, which means I can finally use my water and not have to melt snow. So I am excited to take my first drink of water. Oh. Wow, this is just so luxurious.
After being sick and just like spending all day laying in bed, I cannot even begin to explain how scared and lonely I felt during that time just because, oh my gosh, I was just not feeling good and there was a windstorm outside. I was super, super scared of an avalanche coming down. We were at like extreme warning for one, but I couldn't leave. I like just felt so unwell that I just like couldn't leave and I was alone and the power was out and like, honestly, I think that this past week has been the hardest week of me ever living here um, just because so many things went wrong and not only that just like the weather has been so extreme i think mainly just it's been really hard being alone um, throughout all of this i need to brush my teeth and wash my face but my water pump is broken <sighs> it like won't shut off <laughs> Luckily, I hardwired it into this switch so I can like manually switch it on. <gasps> cold water. Oh, cold. I'm just doing some laundry here and I just wanted to show you guys what is happening when I open the door. shoveling I guess Right now I am making some yeast bread. The greatest thing ever about flour and bread is that it stays good for so long. Yeah, I'm basically stuck here, so. We'll make some bread today and let that sit for like 12 hours um, as it rises. I am completely out of coffee, so I'm roasting some right now. I wonder if this is lighting. Oh, we've got a rager going. <laughs> that is perfect, because you actually kind of want pretty high heat when you're roasting. Okay, so I've got my little ball of dough here, and I've been preheating my Dutch oven for like 
30 minutes now. It's probably warm enough. Basically how I'm baking it is um, I'm just lifting it off of the stove just a bit using like the lid to a jar. Yeah, you can like totally bake bread using your wood stove. You just have to lift it up a bit so the bottom doesn't burn. But yeah, if the wood stove is hot enough, um, your bread will turn out amazing. I'm just gonna put my ball of dough into here and then just gonna put the lid on and probably let it cook for like an hour or so. You can check it along the way, you know, just to make sure. But yeah, probably like an hour. I'm like already sick of the snow. <laughs> then there's still so much more time left of winter. I think all you can really do in life is just accept things for how they are. Like I'm just kind of accepting that I feel extremely uninspired. I made this soup with like so many different vegetables and potatoes and onion and garlic and coconut milk. It turned out so good. So the other day when I was sick, I was walking around outside thinking how cold my face was and I realized I need a scarf to like wrap around my face and neck. And I have a lot of extra yarn that I spun this past summer. So I'm gonna use it and weave myself a beautiful scarf to wear this winter. <laughs> Today I walked all the way to my neighbor's house to shovel out my car and basically took me all day. I pretty much haven't done anything else besides that. The sunrise right now is so unique. I've never seen like everything so like pink and purple. It's so cool in contrast with like the white snow. Wow, oh my gosh. This is just gorgeous. Holy shit. It feels like I've gone through like this rebirth. You know, like everything is so exciting and amazing. And this sunrise, holy. Okay, today is officially one of the most exciting days ever. I've been waiting for weeks now for this puppy to come. Uh, it got so delayed in the mail because of all the snowstorms and everything. But my water pump is here and it is officially time to... 
install it. Okay, so here's the old one, broken. And now it is time to put this beauty in. <laughs> never been so excited about something in my life. Where are my screws? So basically now I'm just stripping these wires and then tying them together so that it has power and yep, hopefully this works. So I just got the water pump in. Now it's time to try it. <laughs> a little scared, but let's hope it works. Yeah, I'm kind of scared. Oh, there we go. Well, well, it's still very loud, but I have water. So I guess that's mission complete. I was listening to this Ram Dass talk the other night that really resonated with me. He was basically saying, before we come onto this earth, we are these like perfect, pure, whole, fulfilled beings of light. And during our time on this earth, we are constantly trying to get back to this place of this like blissful happiness, you know? And it can be really easy for us to use like this material world to try and like get back to that place of like comfort and happiness, you know? Like we use so many different things. But the thing is with all these things in our external world, they never last and that's the thing. You know, we've all experienced that feeling of like buying something and feeling that like, ah, oh, yeah, like you feel good, you know, it makes you feel good and then eventually it just kind of fades away, that feeling, and then we're on to the next thing. And everything in this material world, it's impermanent, you know, it doesn't last. And throughout this past month, I've had so much more time to just kind of be with myself and to breathe and to be present. And for the most part, I've spent a lot more time than usual meditating. And, and what I realized throughout this month, it kind of dawned on me one day, like, Everything that you need in order to feel that feeling of like comfort and happiness and just like good, like the feeling we all want to feel like this blissful state of being, everything you need to feel that is within you. You know, it's here, it's in your breath. It's always inside of you. Like you don't need anything else to get to that place. And I think that's just like a really valuable thing to remember and understand because it's so easy to get caught up in this world and like base your happiness off of things in your external world. I see in myself like it's so easy to just get so caught up. Our life, our accomplishments, our things, just everything. Once that veil is kind of like shattered and you see through the illusion, it's almost like you can't unsee it, you know? And you're like, wow, it really is just doesn't matter. <laughs> and that's the thing, like, Last month, there was so many things that I was like thinking about and felt like they were so important and oh my gosh, this and that and this and that and having so much more time to just be present in this moment here this past month. It's like I feel completely different about all those <laughs> about all those things that I thought were problems. You know, I felt like, oh, there's all these problems and things, and now it's just like, oh, everything's fine. You know, everything's gonna be okay. And once you stop defining your happiness on external things, and it all comes from within, nothing phases you. Nothing ever, like, is a problem, because it truly just doesn't matter. And of course, like, that's not to negate the fact that we all have these things that we struggle with, and we all have problems in our life and stuff, but what like spiritual practice can do is it can make those problems feel like they affect you a little bit less, you know? And I just think that that is such an important 
beautiful thing to incorporate into our life. Honestly, I think I'm gonna cut this. Okay, let's see this thing. Oh, what's happening? This. Ah. Beautiful, oh. <laughs> Here we go, now we're talking. I just gotta fix the ends up. <gasps> wow. <laughs> It's instantly so warm. Wow, this morning is honestly so gorgeous. <gasps> It's actually been raining for the past couple days, which is so weird. <laughs> and there's like this layer of ice over all the snow now. Cozied up <laughs> in my beautiful scarf. <sighs> Anyways, I think this is going to be the end of the video. I love you all so much and thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next week. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>